In 12 on Health this evening, a Fairfield man has reached an important milestone. On Father's Day six years ago, a twist of fate changed the course of his life. Here's 12 on Health reporter Gillian Neff. And guys, wait till you meet this guy. Gerardo Lambert does not take for granted how fortunate it is that he got to spend Father's Day with his family this weekend. His ability to overcome an incredible physical challenge inspires the people around him. At the Westport YMCA, Gerardo Lambert is known as a fitness phenom. Lambert knows a thing or two about pushing yourself, even when you're running on fumes. No, you're not tired yet. Even when you just want to lay down and die. In 2005, this bodybuilder who breathes fitness had one heart attack after another. It was very painful. I wanted it to stop. And I was crying, I was calling out for my wife, Tiffany. And then I went into a flat line. Lambert woke up in the intensive care unit. I couldn't speak. There were tubes going in and out of my neck. I was strapped to the bed. A severe case of cardiomyopathy had destroyed Lambert's heart. I was scared, I was shaking. I just wanted to be around my family. Doctors put him into a coma to wait for a donor heart. His kidneys were failing. His liver was failing, and they were telling us that he was not going to last. And so I prayed, I just prayed. Lambert's life and any hope of him meeting his baby. I was eight months pregnant. Hinged on someone else's sudden death. He died on a motorcycle accident on Father's Day. My mom called me, and she said, your father was in an accident. Joshua Dame's family says his final act of kindness was that he was an organ donor. Life is coming. I feel like it all kind of went by in a blur. They flew it over and it came in a van up to the hospital door. They had to take him out of the coma in order to put him back under another anesthesia. I told him, your heart is, is coming, it's here. A team of surgeons worked fast to transplant the donor heart. After four hours in the OR, success. Lambert and his family can't believe their luck. It's a miracle that yeah. our little Christian has his father. Now, six years later, the Lamberts got to speak with their heart donor's family for the first time. They were overcome with gratitude and guilt. Having to face the fact that somebody was going to have to give him their heart was very hard. Losing her brother is still raw for Lindsay Dames. We know he's in heaven. But knowing a part of him lives on and lets this little boy hold his father close helps her heal. <laughs> They're an adorable family. For more information on Lambert and his fitness business, and for information on how to become an organ donor, just go to news12.com. I've got my license here. Uh, the Connecticut license puts a little red heart on, on there if you're an organ sure. donor. What a gift. Mm. Gillian, thank you.